So you might be trying to figure out how you can sign a document on your iPhone. Now, doing this is actually very, very basic and it really doesn't take that much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and open up that file on your iPhone. So go and find that file and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open it up. So in this case, I already had this PDF file just like this. Now, let's say this was some sort of PDF that I wanted to go ahead and basically you know, send out or I wanted to go ahead and sign or whatever. But what I would have to do here is I would want to go ahead and tap on that specific file like this. And there's going to be a little like pencil icon at the very bottom. What you're going to want to do is you want to tap on that pencil icon and this little like pencil icon thing will come up. Now, if you want to, you could actually probably just draw, like just tap on this one and then just like draw your signature if you want to, whatever it is. But in this case, we're not going to do that. We're going to add a proper signature. We want to click this plus icon that's at the far right corner right here. Now, there's an add a signature button that's actually built in within our iPhones. So what we can do is we can click add a signature and we can actually go ahead and create a signature for our specific you know, signature. So in this case, let's say I wanted to go ahead and just to do whatever the signature is. So you can just do your signature whichever way you want to do it. Now, if this is what your signature is, you can click clear or you can just keep it. So in this case, I'm going to keep it and I can go and click done. Now, if I want to, it's going to go ahead and bring that signature in natively just like this. So what I can do now is I can tap on that signature just like this. And at that point, what I can do is I can go ahead and bring this signature over to a different portion of this specific screen. So if I wanted to go and bring it here, if I want to make it bigger or smaller, I can change it just like that. And that's another option that you have. I can also click on the three dots right in the top right corner and duplicate it, cut it, whatever I need to do. But that's another option that I have right there. And that's basically how it's done. It's a super basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.